We're looking at this hive today because it doesn't seem very well and the symptoms are chronic bee paralysis virus and that is uh, where the bees seem to be just dying off for no apparent reason. Uh, some of them are dying dead on the top of the hive upside down and the hive in general doesn't look very well. The symptoms are classic which is of um, trembling wings and trembling antennae and also there's another form of the virus which is a very shiny appearance as if all the hairs on the bee have, have come off. So we're going to go into this hive now and do some investigation and just see if we can make, come to some sort of conclusion before we decide what we're going to do. So we've just taken the crown board off and as you can see they don't look massively active and if you look across they're very slow, some look like they're dying, that one's died there. Then if you look down the end, the end here and look across here, you'll see the, the dead bees and they're just, just sort of moving. There's plenty of food because we've given them food and then just in this corner here, they're dying off. So they really don't look very well at all. But we'll go further into the hive and we'll just have a look and make up our own minds what we're going to do. a beauty. So we've looked in this colony and the brood looks amazing. She's laying loads of eggs and the flying bees are bringing so much pollen in it's unbelievable from the, um, the privet it's out in full. So we know that this hive is going to survive if we could give them a fresh new start. So that's exactly what we do because the virus is everywhere. It's in their faeces, um, so when a bee is, is ill and dying, um, they're obviously uh, pooing everywhere and then the bees that clean it up also get the virus. It's also on the comb, so the bees are just wandering over the comb every single day, so they're perky picking off that. So the best thing we can do is we can give them some fresh new comb, completely new hive. We're going to put the queen in the new hive and we're going to basically dump all the bees about three feet away. So we're just constructing the runway. So we're putting the queen in the bottom box. There is one frame of drawn comb in here, the rest is foundation, so it feels like that they've swarmed. So this is a frame we've got for her, there's quite a lot of nectar in here, but they'll clean it out and and she'll start laying straight away. I'm just going to put her out now. Okay, there she is. All on her own. At least she's feeding now. She's probably hungry. Okay, so we're going to put this back in. The flying bees will come to support her very soon. A bit scary just leaving a queen in a hive. There you go. 
So as quick as possible now we're going to shake the bees onto the end of the runway so that the queen will have as many attendants with her as possible so she won't get chilled. making a homemade bee brush. So you can see the bees we've shaken off already. They're just in a cluster. They've no idea where they are. They don't know what to do. So if we just go up to the hive, you can see the flying bees are already back in the hive. So they will start fanning soon and the pheromone will travel all the way down until it gets to these bees at the end. The idea is also um, to separate the sick bees from the healthy bees. Only the healthy bees will be able to uh, walk up towards the hive, leaving the sick bees behind, and therefore only the healthy bees are going into the hive, hopefully to eradicate this virus. the front of the new hive. There's plenty of flying bees. Some of them are funny. So this is the total number of bees inside this hive, excluding the ones that were going out on foraging flights. It looks huge when they're out all in the open. They're nearly there, just a bit further. Oh, here we go. Look at that, they've all suddenly started. Whoa! That was instantaneous. Isn't that unbelievable? They suddenly got direction. They're hurrying as quickly as they can towards the hive.
So looking at the bottom of the board now, you can see those that still haven't found their way, they still haven't got the message, and they're scrabbling around here, not really knowing what to do. But if you look across also, you'll see there are lots and lots of dead bees, and these are the ones that needed to stay here, and, and the ones that are just crawling around, they won't make it. Sounds a lot, you know, very cruel. But this is the way we clear out and make sure that the, only the healthy bees, those that are marching up to the hive, will survive and make a cracking start right from new again. Just looking at the queen cage that we used, and we used this about 40 to 45 minutes ago. And the queen was only in it for about 10 minutes, but that was long enough for, the, for he, her to leave her the pheromone. And the bees are all attracted to it, even though it's such a long time since she, she was in the actual cage itself. Even the drones are able to find their way back. <laughs> you can really smell the pheromones being emitted by the hive. It's slightly banana-y, slightly thick, 